it's a merry-go-round Only knew I was talking cause you knew it ain't no sound The other way around, it just doesn't go down But it's cool, I see you, I know how you flow now You ain't got the light, yeah. you ain't got the light, man You ain't got the light, man. you ain't got the light, man You ain't got the light How did you guys actually meet? Um, I knew him before at Planet Fitness, and I just pretty much saw him at LA Fitness. Okay. Saw him growing a lot of weight, and he told me I was his motivation, <laughs> and that's pretty much how I met. So, you're a personal trainer, or are you whole um, bodybuilding also? I just do personal training. Okay. I've never done a show. A lot of people tell me I'm sure, but okay. Um, I used to do competitive cheerleading and hip hop dancing and like gymnastics and stuff like that. So that pretty much filled my whole life and after that I just started working out. I had to have something to fill the void and not like mm -hmm. stay active. Would you say you have any influences, like anybody who actually does it professionally or, you know, friends or anything like that? Do I have any influence, like people that motivate me in with? Um, I like Ava Callen. She's my favorite. Um, I Pretty much influential, I just like through the magazines, off to the magazines, stuff like that. Um, God, and just Ava Callen, you know, like. <laughs> No, we were just talking about, like, how I have a kid and how so many people have excuses. And, I mean, I got back in shit back three months, and yes, I am younger, but a lot of women use that as an excuse, so, you know, you can't go. I have a C-section, <laughs> I have abs, and you can do it. Frankie, what's your bicep? Everybody wanna know where did you come from? From the bottom to the top, now I got them all shocked and they wanna know where did you come from? Everywhere I go, every time I flow, they only wanna know where did you come from? From the bottom to the top, now I got them all locked and they wanna know where did you come from? 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 Coming up from the gutter, first of my mother's daughters, I utter nothing but butter. He that flow so smooth, my approach so cool. Listen from the millions, grinding from my heart, from the bottom to the top. Ah, yes, camera. And I got them all shot. Huh? Yeah. Please, don't squish the goods. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Mm. Oh. trying to get a better you every time you step on that stage. Yeah. Mm. That's that's the difference between this sport and let's say basketball. Yeah. You're trying to beat another team. Yeah, yeah to get a team. Or, or mm. uh, boxing, you're trying to beat somebody up. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's definitely a, a battle against yourself. That's why, uh, I think with me, one of the reasons I don't do it is I try to do it now more for just like fun because before I'm so I'm such a perfectionist in ways I have to just be easy on myself and just I try I stay like stage ready if I really wanted to like all year all year long if I want to do a fitness magazine it's really I just have to go and do that the only reason I do a bodybuilding show is to get in a magazine I mean that's yeah. what I want to do and that would help me influence women like yeah so what time. do you eat <laughs> <laughs> a lot um. Actually, every day for lunch, I eat brown rice, tuna, avocado, little honey mustard. I eat whole wheat eggos in the morning. It's half whole wheat, but I put some like it's whole wheat in it. Yeah, it's all in my head stomach. With um, peanut butter, cinnamon, and sugar-free syrup, and I put bananas on it. Then dinner, just like chicken and rice. Do you eat? Um, after that, is what I eat. Do you eat red meat? Yeah, it's just it takes longer to cook, honestly. But I mean, I like it. I like it. What do you think? So would you say like your diet has a lot to do with your diet has a lot to do with it. But honestly, I eat like when I eat bad, 
I just do more cardio. Okay. It's all about intake and outtake. It's just pretty much math. You have to... She said that's right. She said that's right. Right. Yep. I got a better name for it. out going on three weeks out from competition and um, just doing like a, a, a interview to see you know where where do we find Peter and all this so um, just a couple quick questions and we'll start with um, what it actually inspired you to begin bodybuilding well I was training one day at the gym um, just like usual Training hard. And there was an elderly man that I, I've never seen before. Came up to me and asked me if I was training for a show or any type of competition. And I told him no. And he told me, well then, why you train so hard? I said, well, you know, I just like to sculpt my body, basically. And he says, well, you can do that without training that hard. And then after that, that kind of hit home. You know, like when I left the gym, I thought about it. And I made that decision to say, let me, let me try to compete. And I, uh, my buddy Wesley wants to compete as well. You know, why not do that alongside with him? And I got hooked. Sounds simple enough. So when you got hooked, how did, uh, how did you know, really lifting weights become a part of, you know, the day-to-day -day exercises? And funny you ask about lifting weights because... My uh, father was strongly against me lifting weights. He said that I would get too stiff. Um, I would not be able to scratch my, you know, my back or whatever. Yeah. So um, I was actually away from weights for a while. Um, but I was boxing at the time, and I uh, he was my sole so source of transportation, and he couldn't. He stopped taking me, so. I didn't want to get fat. <laughs> I decided to take an easier route and three hours in the gym, lifting weights was easier than three hours in the gym, punching a bag or punching someone else in the face. So when, when it boiled down to it, uh, bodybuilding seemed like the, the natural option, yeah. seemed like the way to go. All right, cool. So um, I guess I'm wondering, once you began lifting weights and you knew you wanted to sculpt your body and get that, you know, that, that nice physique, you know, when, when did you actually decide, you know, this is it, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, I'm going to go for the gold and I'm actually going to compete, um, and, you know, see, see how far you can take it. When, when did that actually happen? Well, I, my first competition was in 2010. I competed in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, like I said, when I met that old man, he kind of sparked that into me, and I, I decided to take that show. I, I was looking at all these natural shows because I'm natural, so I, I decided that you know I want to I want to be in love with the playing field. So I decided to uh, look for different organizations, bodybuilding.com, and I found uh, the OCB, and I decided to compete there. Um, I did a cookie cutter diet. Um, didn't really know what I was doing, but 
I got really lean and got first place in the first show. So Ooh. after that, I was hooked. That, I mean, that's what I wanted to do. Now, now, when you, when you say cookie cutter diet, I'm curious, what did that entail? Because I know a lot of times people come up with these crazy diets, like they got, you know, the M&M diet where you, you know, eat nothing but M&Ms and drink water and, you know, crazy stuff like that. So what, what was involved with uh, the nutrition and, 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 you know, getting fit for that? Well, there is a cookie diet, but that ain't that <laughs> diet. Um, no, I just basically... Just took my body weight and uh, multiplied it times 16. This is something I learned on bodybuilding.com. Um, and subtracted that by 500 calories and I just maintained that calorie intake the whole time. Um, and just did like 30 minutes of cardio a day and weight training for two hours a day. My body just kept transforming. Cool, cool. So what were what were some of the obstacles or uh, adversity you ran into uh, you know, getting started, and even still to this day, what what obstacles do you find in uh, in the sport as a whole? Um, acceptance. I don't. People don't want to accept what I do. Uh, people that I would call friends, they would kind of be against it. You know, why are you doing this? Why are you not going out to the club with us? Why aren't you doing this and that? And uh, it just I, I feel like I'm not accepted. So. Yeah, I want to show the world this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do regardless if you like it or not. So right now, basically the world is, is tolerating, is tolerating Peter. But, uh... Yeah, myself said the world. <laughs> no, it's fine, um, because honestly, a lot of people don't know about the sport, so uh, that, that tolerance and acceptance is important, you know, it's very important. But, um, I guess, what, what do you have to say to, to anyone who would you know, I guess want to be a part of that negative influence instead of the positive influence. I don't. I mean, I don't understand why someone wouldn't want to support the positivity. But you know, what would you have to say to someone like that? Take notes. Take notes. <laughs> Take notes. I mean, if you if you don't want to do something, if you, you want to just hate on somebody because of what they're doing instead of you going out and doing it, then you're wasting your time. Like, I don't see the point of that at all. Very well said. Any any final words uh, of encouragement of you know just you just want to rant a little bit or get anything off your chest? Um, it's not much I want to get off my chest. Uh, like I said, I just want I just want to show people that you can build a muscular physique naturally. You know, you don't have to resort to doing things or drastic things to your body or damaging your body because it's actually counterproductive to what you're trying to do. If you're trying to look good and do it the right way, there's, there's no point in cheating to succeed. Cool. Hard work pays off. Yes. That's what they say. Specifically, who are your influences uh, in the bodybuilding industry, if any? Um, yeah, every bodybuilder can tell you that Arnold has inspired them. Um, he has an extent for me, I guess, you know, because he's kind of an icon for the sport. But I'm actually inspired by a lot of the natural pro bodybuilders because they know what it takes nutritionally and they have uh, different methods than the counterpart side of bodybuilding. Okay. Not gonna name any names in particular, but mainly natural pros. Yeah. They they know who they are. Yeah, they, know. they know. All right. Cool, man. 2012, going for pro. Yeah. Any final words? No. Yeah. Yep. Right on. Thanks again, Peter Carter. In there. So care we man. Click on.